which is basically like a, a drop-in place in Plymouth. Now, she was sat in the corner, sort of embroidering away on her own this particular day, and off to one side in the, the, the hall, there was a large group of people with learning disabilities that they'd been accompanied there, and they were doing some kind of event that was being covered by the local press. So the mum's not really part of that. She was just there to drop in and have somewhere to go, and she was just stitching away as she does. But the photographer from the local press uh, entered the room and started doing the meet and greet. Hey, Hi, everyone. How are you? And uh, with with um, people who have these learning disabilities, you know, it, a great deal of enthusiasm is often necessary to engage them and sort of, you know, pull them in, you, uh, pull yourself into their world. So she's doing the rounds, and my mum's just sitting there. Yeah stitching away, just kind of minding her own business, until the photographer walks up to her. Hi! How are you? What are you doing? I'm doing some embroidery. Right! Well, that must be very time consuming. Yes, it takes an awful lot of focus. And do you know what it is? So she sort of turns and goes, Yes, it's a Celtic cross. Now, this photographer's face just went 15 shades of green, and she goes, oh, fuck, and liked it. Um, now, she thought, she made a presumption, an assumption that she knew what that situation meant. And clearly she got it horribly wrong, because uh, she got severely embarrassed, and she, uh, she liked it. But this happens all the time, where we think we know what something means, and we communicate what we think we mean, and we hope that other people get what we mean across our social networks. We communicate over email, we communicate it in person. Um, I worked at Siemens a couple of years ago as a project manager in Beeston. And uh, part of my story is that I have two children. I haven't seen them for about five years. And I went through a court case to uh, you know, get access to them, as so many do. Um, at the same time, I was uh, running a project where I was doing an IT relocation uh, in three sites in Ireland. And part of that I was due to go to Cork. Um, and my co-worker came up to me, who I had spoken to a couple of days before and said, you know, I'm, I'm due in court over the weekend, and uh, sorry, after the next weekend, and, um, you know, I, I don't know if I'll be in. So she came up to me, <clears throat> and she went, are you all ready for court then? Have you got your little green suit on? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, you said you're going to court. Uh, no, June, I'm going to court. Court. And again, the same thing happened. <laughs> the assumption that, you know, she thought I meant one thing, I thought I meant another. And this clash in the middle where we go, oh, I see, oh, don't, and all this stuff. I just find it fascinating. See, the only experience, you only experience the world you through your head, you know, it's all actually in here. It's it's kind of a bizarre idea that yes, this is all objective. This this board really exists, but actually, it's being represented to me through my brain. So, with that in mind, I'd like to ask you to do something. Okay, uh, if you haven't got a pen and paper, you will be given one in a moment by the lovely Zoe. <laughs> We have pilfered these from the local enterprise organisation, but they were pretty nice. Right. Thank you. Now, no cheating. Okay. I want you to write. Um, what the? Uh, I want you to give the four first, uh, first four words that come to mind when I say, "What does business mean to you?"
Cool. Okay. Same again. Uh, so first four words that come to mind when I say, what does school mean to you? Okay, one more for you all. What does love mean to you? Last one. What does career mean to you? Cool, okay. So these are pretty simple words, we all think we know what they mean. Heather, what did you get for business? Um, I got productivity, profit, organisation and community. Splendid. Glenn? Success and lies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, what experiences have led you to... All business is about lying. I buy something and then I sell it to you for more and say I'm not overcharging. <laughs> Fair point. Yeah? Okay. If you can't lie, you're not, you, you, I don't think you can get on in business. I think that's why uh, some of the companies that are very um, uh, you know, morally uh, uh, stable actually don't make as much profit as the ones that aren't. <coughs> right. And Got you. Unfortunately, that's what business brings up in my mind. Sure. Yeah. Success as well, right? It did come first. So what's more important to you, success or lies? Well, success is more yeah. important to me, but I see business as a pack of lies. That's how I view it. <laughs> I really do. That's how I deal with business. Anybody tells me anything, I believe it when I see it. Okay. So let's bounce off that then. What do you get for career? Uh, which one was career? Uh, the last one. Last one. Means to an end and personal satisfaction. Right. Although business, uh, career can exist within a business. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. I, and I, I've been self-employed most of my life, so you could say I'm a, I'm, I'm a businessman. Yeah. Uh, I have run business <coughs> as well. Um, uh, I used to run a career company, um, which is probably why I wrote lies down. Oh yeah, he's well on his way. <laughs>